The Gospel According to Mark Chapter 3 Read from the Remedy On another day, Jesus went into the house of worship, and a man with a contracted and withered hand was there. Some of the church leaders and theology professors who taught a legal religion and thus focused on rules rather than healing human beings were trying to find a reason to make allegations against Jesus. So they watched closely to see if he would heal the man on the Sabbath. Jesus had asked the man with the deformed hand to stand up front where everyone could see him. Then Jesus turned to the religious leaders and said, According to your own rules, which is lawful to you to do on the Sabbath, good or evil, to save life or to kill? But they didn't say a word, revealing that they were more interested in their rules than in helping others. Jesus looked at them, angry at the depth of selfishness infecting their hearts, and distressed as at their lack of compassion. Then he turned to the man and said, Extend your hand and be well. The man immediately lifted his hand and used it normally, as it was completely healed. Then those religious leaders and theology professors who taught a legal religion went out and found some local politicians of the Herodian party and plotted with them how they might kill Jesus. Jesus and his disciples left the city and went out to the lake, and large crowds from Galilee followed them. When the word about Jesus and his ministry spread, people flocked to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Edomia, the land across the Jordan, and the area near Tyre and Sidon. The crowd was growing very large, so Jesus told his disciples to have a boat ready if needed. He had healed many people, and this caused those with sickness to press to the front of the crowd and try to get near enough to touch him. Whenever someone whose mind was controlled by an evil angel saw him, they would fall down before him and cry out, You are God's Son! but Jesus ordered them to keep quiet. Jesus climbed up on a mountainside and selected those he wanted to join him, and they came to him. Twelve of those who followed him he appointed to be his ambassadors, that they might spend time with him and then go out and preach the truth of his kingdom and have the authority to drive out evil forces. The twelve he appointed as his ambassadors were Simon, whom Jesus affectionately called Peter or Pebble, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, because they were so passionate and tense, he affectionately nicknamed them Boanerges, which means Thunder Boys, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Patriot, and Judas Iscariot, who later betrayed him. Once Jesus returned home, a crowd gathered so quickly that neither he nor his disciples had time to eat. When those who considered themselves close to Jesus heard how the crowds were constantly pressing him, they thought, He is not thinking clearly enough to handle all the fame. So they sought to manage Jesus' time and schedule. And the theology professors who taught a legal religion, came over from Jerusalem and said, He wants to be a celebrity, and just like the devil, he tries to make himself the centre of attention. He uses Satan's power to drive out evil forces. So Jesus confronted them publicly and with parables. How can Satan enter into a person and by entering, get rid of Satan? Think about it. It would be like using water to get rid of wetness. If a kingdom fights against itself, 
it collapses. If a family turns against each other, its cohesion is destroyed. If Satan opposes himself, he neutralizes his own efforts. His work collapses and his effectiveness is ended. It is not possible to enter the domain of a strong man and take away his possessions unless one first neutralizes the strong man. Only when the strong man is restrained can one take his possessions. So here is the simple truth. Every sin, every deviation from God's design, can be healed. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit cannot be healed, either now or in the future. For it is the Spirit who works in the heart to administer the remedy, and the Spirit only works in a willing heart. Closing the heart to the Spirit prevents healing and results in eternal sinfulness. He told them this because they were closing their hearts by saying, He is working through an evil spirit. Jesus' mother and brothers arrived, but couldn't get in through the crowd. They passed a message to him to come out. The crowd told him, Your mother and brothers are outside waiting for you. Who is bonded in love with me like a mother or brother, he asked. Then looking over those gathered around him, he said, Here are those whose hearts are bonded in love to me like a mother and brothers. Those who partake of the remedy and experience renewal of hearts such that they live in harmony with God's will and design are my true family. <laughs>